Hello my friends, it's Nina and today we are doing a get ready with me. Today is a special occasion. I am going to a concert. I'm going to see Seventeen. <laughs> For this video, we're just going to have a chill time, do our makeup together. I'm also going to show you what's in my K-pop concert bag. I actually usually don't carry a lot when I go to concerts. I literally just carry my phone and my wallet and like a lip balm. But for this concert, I really wanted to wear a clear fanny pack. There is a clear bag policy at the venue I'm going to. So I got a clear fanny pack and I'll show you what's in it. And then I'll also obviously show you my outfit. You can't see it right now. Here's a sneak peek. Oh, this is the highest I can go. At the end, I will show you my outfit, but it's all coordinated. I just... I love getting ready for concerts. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So as I said, I am going to see Seventeen. A lot of people don't know that I stand Seventeen. I know it's because I only ever really talk about BTS on my channel, just because they are the first group that I ever stand in K-pop. But I do stand and like other groups, and I actually stand Seventeen since 2017. And they have a special place in my heart, and they have a show for this tour near me instead of being in LA. Because LA is really far from me, even though I do live in California, it's so far away. Every artist just goes to LA and I'm just, I can't go to LA all the time. I just realized I'm going to look very pale in this video. Don't worry, I will add color and life to my face later on. But for now, I'm adding BB cream. Ah, I'm a little pale, it's okay. <laughs> I look like a kishin. <laughs> but anyway, this is my first 17 concert, so I have to go and buy the carrot bong when I get to the venue. Hopefully there's not a huge line. Just gonna make sure the BB cream is everywhere. I kind of did a messy job on it, just because I'm not great at multitasking. And so I can't... I don't even remember putting on BB cream. <laughs> now we're going to move on to concealer. Oh, I should show you the BB cream that I use. It's the Claire's... BB cream, Illuminating Supple Blemish Cream SPF 40 PA++. Now I'm moving on to the concealer. This is the SEM Ideal Concealer Duo. It's in 01 Clear Beige. I'm going to use this part just because I want good coverage for the concert. I'm going with a soft concept for my entire outfit and makeup look. 17's official colors are Rose Quartz and Serenity. Those are pink and blue colors and they're so pretty. So I had to obviously dress up as their official colors. I didn't really know what to wear and so I just went with the official colors and I realized that a lot of people do that too so I'm not the only one. <laughs> I already moisturized and all that by the way. I got ready obviously. And then I also have these cute earrings on. Can you see them? I'm wearing a heart earring, this sort of moonstone iridescent earring and then just a little stud. I'm actually going to this concert alone. This is the first time I'm going to a concert alone. I usually go with a friend but this time I didn't have a friend to go with. I brought down the ISO a little bit. Now I'm moving on to eyebrows. I'm just using this NYX eyebrow cake powder. I'm using the color gray. We're going to fill in our eyebrows. For my makeup, I'm just doing a simple pink look. I also want to add some gems onto my face. I tend to do this for concerts. I haven't done it recently, but I want to add some gems to my face. I'm going to add pink, blue, and white onto my face. Aren't they cute? I'm going to use the pale pink and the pale blue. And then I also have some glitter for my face. I'm going to gently form my eyebrow. I make my eyebrows pretty straight. So Seventeen isn't completely like a soft sound K-pop group. They also have lots of energetic, powerful songs. But personally, I just wanted to go for a soft concept because I do enjoy their softer music. My favorite Seventeen songs happen to be their softer songs. I like songs that give me feels. I think my favorite title track is Home, currently. I like Pinwheel, I like Second Life, but I also do enjoy the other units as well. My favorite hip-hop unit song is Chili. And then my favorite song from the performance unit is Shh. That's the title of the track. Shh. <laughs> I didn't just tell you guys to shh. Okay, so my face is starting to look more normal. I'm going to use a brow pencil. Here it is. It is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Just the black one. I'm going to define my eyebrows a little bit. I will also vlog some of the concerts. Now I'm going to brush out my eyebrows. On the other end, there is this little brush. I'm going to just brush it out. Today is supposed to rain, so I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I'm not going to... I'm not really sure if I can bring an umbrella, and I also don't want to wear a jacket over my outfit, so I might just I might just deal with the rain. My hair may suffer, and my outfit may get wet, and my makeup might wash off, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm using the Peach C Soft Mood Eyeshadow Palette in Soft Coral, and I'm just going to play with this. I With makeup looks, I just kind of wing it, hoping for the best. But before I actually do that, I forgot I have to put on eyeshadow primer. I'm going to just add a little bit, even though I don't really need it all that much, but you know, just better to take precaution. I'm gonna add a good amount. 
on the other eye. I'm gonna pat you on. I'm going to apply this pale pink color right here. This is always what I start with. And then I'm going to add darker colors after that. Oh, okay, so we're gonna take a good amount. There was a lot of fallout. Okay. I'm gonna place you on. Yay. I might just add this with my fingers first and then kind of blend it out after. You can already see some life coming back to my eyes. So we're going to add this all over the lid. I should also talk about my bias in 17 since not a lot of people know that I stand 17. But my bias is Wanu. I've actually mentioned it before in a video. I think it was also a get ready with me. I feel like I should probably just make an updated K-pop related get ready with me so I can answer frequently asked questions. People are always surprised that I stand this or that. But my bias is Wanu and I have 12 bias records because I love all of them. I do like and listen to a lot of groups but I stand a handful just because you know it takes a lot of energy and dedication and money. <sighs> so many groups came out with albums and light sticks and tours in 2020. <sighs> There's gonna be more Get Ready With Me's in the future because I am going to a few more concerts. I've got a few concerts coming up in April and May, I hope. But I have two concerts coming up. I'm going to see, not related to Seventeen, but I am going to see AT's. I'm going to see them in Newark and LA. It's going to be a very fun time. My look for the AT's concerts is going to be very different from this look. And that's just what I love about going to concerts. It's just you can literally play with your looks. So I applied my subtle pink base and I'm going to move on. I'll do this one first and then I'll go into this one. We're going to kind of go like this. I'm just going to add this closer to my lash line. We're kind of making a gradient as we get closer to the lash line, we're going to add darker colors. So this is just to kind of define your lids a little bit. And then we're going to add it to the outer edge of your bottom lid. Also make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this. Now we're going to move on to the darkest pink shade that we've got right here. We're going to put this literally next to the lash line. I love how soft this eyeshadow palette is. Like the formula is actually really soft. And then we're going to apply it on the outside as well. Just a tiny bit, kind of defines your eye shape a little bit. Everyone's eye shape is different, so do what works for you. This is just where it works for me. Yeah. And then now I'm going to get, oh my God. Now I'm going to get a flat brush and I'm going to take this dark brown color and then I'm going to line my eyes. It's going to be kind of a thick line because we kind of want a smoky look. Where's my mirror? There she is. Tap out. <laughs> Fall. <laughs> Tap out fallout. I'm going to scoot in closer for the east. We're going to just, actually that's not how I do it. I forgot how to do my makeup. We're going to take it on our finger and then we're going to put it on the outer corner first. There we go. This just helps to kind of set up a wing that we're going to do later on. I like to make it thick over here and then thinner as we get in. Yeah. So you can see the brown shadow kind of extends your eye this way. Now I'm going to kind of, is it tight line? I'm gonna kind of tight line and add it closer to the lash line. It's like that, it's more visible. On the day of the concert, make sure you're well hydrated. It's because most of the time you can't bring water into the venue. They usually make you, if you bring a water bottle, they make you dump the water out. So make sure you're just well hydrated throughout the day and make sure that you go to the restroom before the concert. This is usually what I do for a quick everyday makeup look. I use just a black shadow. I'm actually going to use this flat brush. And simply we're going to line our eyes. You can see the line starting to happen. So you can see the very soft line. I'm gonna do it for the other eye. So I like to make sure that the eyeliner is under my fold. I have a little slight double eyelid fold, so I like to make sure that it's under. So I just made a very thin line. And then now my favorite part, I'm going to add glitter. I'm gonna put on the pink glitter onto my finger so it's more pigmented. And then we're going to put it on the center of your eyelid. This just makes your look pop. You want to shine. So just put this all over your lid. And then on this eye. This just makes your eyes look brighter. And if you have egg yosai, then it kind of helps make you look youthful. By the way, I'm applying some powder just so I look a little more matte. I don't want to look too shiny. This also just helps to lock in your makeup. Oh, this is the one that I'm using. It is ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in Fair. I'm going to put on my lip color before I put on blush. This is the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint in Pink Break. 
Oh, that is cute. I'm gonna fix it up a little bit. I just apply a small amount and then I kind of blot it out so it's more of a velvet soft look. I don't want it to be too strong. So that is going to be the base of my lips. But in the center, I'm going to put on this color. It's called Private. It is also the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint. And I'm going to put this in the center just for a gradient look. As you can see, it's red gonna put on some lip balm to keep my lips moisturized it's the Vaseline rosy lips lip therapy lip balm just a tiny bit I need to sneeze <laughs> Bless me. And then next, we're going to put on some blush. Blush has actually become one of my favorite parts about makeup. Even though just a few months ago, I was completely afraid of blush. We love growth. We love character development. I'm going to put on a bright pink blush. This is the 3CE Face Blush in Pure Cake. I'm going to add a good amount and then smile and put it on the apples of your cheeks. And then on this cheek. So again, this is a soft concept, so I want to kind of look like I'm blushing a lot. I put it on my nose as well. It doesn't really show that much on camera, but in real life, I can see it. And then now that we've done the blush, I'm going to put on... This is something that I like to do a little bit extra with that pink glitter shade. I like to put it on the tip of my nose just to make it kind of appear a bit more. Since I already have blush on my cheeks and my nose, I'm going to put it right on top. There it is. Do you see it? You can probably see it better in real life. I'm gonna put it just on my nose. There's my soft makeup. For my eyes to make them a little more special, I'm going to add some dots of glitter onto the center of my bottom lid. Make sure none gets on your actual eyeball. And then right here. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of let it dry. I'm trying so hard not to blink too hard. Next part that I'm excited about is the little gemstone. I'm going to add some gems onto my face. I'm gonna put it on the left eye. So I have some eyelash glue and I'm going to add these stickers on. They are stickers, but they're not strong enough. So it's nice to have some eyelash glue. I'm going to put on a big blue gem. It's going to be this pale blue gem. And then I will put a pink little gem next to it and maybe a small white gem. This requires a lot of concentration, but you get the point. <sighs> Here we go. I'm going to kind of do this off screen because I need a big mirror. So I put it on. I had to kind of line it with my eye smile. So if I'm smiling or squinting, it's not going to fall off. Then I'm going to put on a middle size pink gem. It's a pale pink one. Just put a dot of glue on your face and on the gem and kind of stick it on. <gasps> And then finally, I think I'm going to put a tiny clear stone on the bottom for a little triangle. This is such a tiny dot, so this needs literally all my strength and concentration. There we go. Whew, your girl struggled, but it's on. Can you see it? Whew. I usually tend to skip on mascara just because I don't have the longest eyelashes. But just to complete the look, I will put on some mascara. And then we will put on our mascara. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Okay, that should be good. See, you can't even tell the difference, but <laughs> it's there. So this is the actual complete look. We've got our face gems, we've got our glitter. And then I'm gonna show you my outfit first, and then I'll show you what's in my bag. The angle shall change, but this was the makeup look. But here is my outfit. Ah, sorry. I went with a pink and blue look, because again, official colors. I am wearing these wide leg jeans. They are high-waisted and then I have a white belt. And then here I have this sort of chain thing going on. I put it on the back here and I connected it. Just adds a little something something because I am wearing silver jewelry and then I've got silver glitter going on. I'm kind of blending in with this. Maybe I'll take these down just for the outfit. I'll put these right here so you can see the outfit better. You may recognize this sweater. This is a pink sweater that I thrifted a while ago. It used to be very long but for this outfit I committed. I cut it I cropped it now it is short I just didn't want to deal with the whole tucking in thing so I just let it out like this but I think it goes great with this outfit and then under I have a long sleeve mock neck just so it kind of pops up here and then I tucked it into my jeans just like this and then to top it all off I have my fanny pack it's white so it goes with my outfit I also have a black one but I'm not gonna wear that it is clear and it is stadium approved I'll put the link in the description not sponsored I'm more of a fanny pack person as it is so when I found this clear fanny pack I was very happy. So that is my outfit. I slightly look like the carrot bong. And then I will show you what's inside my fanny pack. 
Sorry, this isn't about you, BTS. <laughs> so this is the clear fanny pack. It is stadium approved. It's under the measurements. It was 12 by 6 by 12 inches or something like that. This is definitely under. And also another thing is that it has this iridescent holographic kind of... Is that the term? Holographic? It has this hollow detail. So it really just goes with my outfit. I'm, I was really happy about it. So most of the items in here should be safe to bring. If not, I'll just take it out. But first, I have a tiny wallet. This is a Hello Kitty wallet that I had since I was a kid. I just kept it. I use this for concerts because it's so small. It can fit into a pocket. It can fit into a fanny pack. I have another wallet, but it's too big. So I always opt for this one. This is the smaller front pocket, by the way. I also plan to tuck my phone into here just in case. It also fits in here as well. Mm, it fits. And then I have a compact mirror. It's just this little mirror that I have. Yay. I have a little mirror so I can check up on myself sometimes. And that's the front pocket. And then the big pocket. The big pocket is so spacious. The big pocket I have a pack the big pocket, I have a pack of tissues. I've learned from concerts, you might need these. Sometimes bathrooms run out of tissue. Sometimes you touch something that you shouldn't have touched and you need to clean your hand. So it's nice to have some tissues. I have my AirPods in here just in case I get bored. If I'm waiting for my ride, I want some music. Then I also have a lip tint just in case I want to touch up my lipstick. I also have, this is very important. It is a portable charger. This is my power bank and it has a cord attached to it so I can charge my phone. Then I also have some mints. I am sensitive to smell, so I like having some mints around. This is strawberry flavored. I also have a lip balm. Lip balm is very important. If I'm not going to bring a lip tint, at least lip balm. I forgot that I took this out, but this is hand lotion. I like to have hand lotion in my bags as well. Then finally, I just have some hand sanitizer. I actually don't use hand sanitizer. I used to, but I just prefer actually washing my hands. At concerts, you tend to touch a lot of things. Even if hand sanitizer doesn't really work or do anything, it's kind of like a placebo. I just haven't here just in case it's better than nothing but i do prefer to actually wash my hands but that is pretty much everything in my bag i'm just going to put it all in for you just to show you that it all fits and we're going to zippity zip everything is in here it's great so that is it for the getting ready part but now we are going to go to the actual concert i can't bring this camera so it will be just clips on my iphone the quality may change a little bit but we have to actually go to the concert now so let's go